All right, I'm just going to have a little fun this time. I stumbled across a piece of comic book history that might be fun even for non-comics fans. This is the cover of Stars and Stripes Comics number three. You can see right away that this issue is older than most of the people that you know. And the hero on the cover is pretty obscure. He's in the public domain by now. Amazing man. I'd be surprised if anyone recognized him. If you're someone like me who can take a simple, super action story seriously, then Amazing Man is very cool. I can't recommend him to anyone else, though. Amazing Man was trained from a young age by a hidden order of monks to become a mystic warrior. He's the kind of badass who can bite the throat out of a cobra, even if his own hands and feet are tied behind his back. His mystic training gave him extraordinary strength and agility, hypnotic powers, and the ability to transform into a green mist. This particular issue is not one of his better stories. There was something about it that genuinely shocked me, though, historically speaking. The story opens with Amazing Man receiving a coded message about an imminent attack on the U.S., so he has to fly his plane across the sea as fast as possible. The secret attack comes from Amazing Man's archenemy, of course, the Great Question. In this story, the Great Question has a flying aircraft carrier, now, that's 20 years before S.H.I.E.L.D.'s helicarrier debuted. Using his disguised flying machine, the Great Question sends a fleet of planes to bomb an American military base. The part that really surprised me was the target of the Great Question's attack. I'll wipe out Hawaii. Hawaii? Well, that's pretty specific. And he does it. Amazing Man does not arrive in time to stop the attack. In this story, an enemy force sent fighter planes on a secret mission to bomb Hawaii. I read that and I thought that considering the time it was written, it sure as hell was in poor taste. Then again, was it? When did Pearl Harbor actually happen? December 7th, 1941. And when was this published? July 1941. So this story depicts the Pearl Harbor attack five months before it happened, and with rather chilling accuracy. Now, if there are any comic book trivia buffs in the audience, this story might seem like old news. Everyone knows about the comic book that predicted Pearl Harbor. If you look it up online, you'll get plenty of sites telling you about it. See? <laughs> Whoops. That's not the same one. That's National Comics number 18, starring Uncle Sam. The cover does say December, but it was sold in November. That happens a lot with comic books. This issue depicts its hero fighting enemy forces that were attacking U.S. sites all over the Pacific. It was only one month earlier, and according to their story, Hawaii was one of many targets. Now, I like some of the old Uncle Sam stuff, too. But Amazing Man had him beat by four months, with the story much closer to actual events. Not even most comic book buffs know that. So there's your useless trivia for the day. The comic book industry predicted Pearl Harbor before it happened. Not once, but twice. <laughs>